paying lip service to the plight of the masses. Yes, you know, and we are wasting a lot of resources. But as we speak, some civil servants have not been paid. Kunevan Varku Fan and Zara, but you are one election. You could shammy see a trade or one is mine. One one election. You could do a catanga what Zimbabwe no Ramba. Povich Safa is what Naku Safira Lan Vanesin Jimbo Takasa Fira Povo, do I assume Panevaru? No, we are saying no to that. Yes. Mm. Paying lip service to the fight against the corruption. Corrupt people are known. One who are with the corruption, one of Zikano. One who took big your cars. Yes. Kuto kuzwa, kuto ndi ano kona wori. Someone is rewarded for that. Tino ziva zes, tino ziva nyaya malend barons. Wa mwe zina wari kuzingawa zoke kumsanga. Ne makaya kutiwa ne mastenza wari kutengesa. Wa na wasi na wano wa fanda, wari kuda kufanda wa ne mariri kupiswa povo day and night. Each it must stand as it were itself. Must stand the warung waka crukua. Tribus is vases. Tricutingu ayakwana. You put it to Tawe. Atina moon, I want to pop authority. Atina moon, I got to doubt in Daiku, Hondo, or Hondo Aja, Koneva Seku Penganas. We are not going to. Ask for permission to fight corruption, to fight Nyayebu Tanyiru Wakwe Povo. No. So this message was communicated by Victor Matemadanda during the Robert Mugabe era, but it still applies uh, up to this day. And um, corruption is still rampant. Land barons everywhere. We have seen very corrupt people being promoted being paraded in front of everybody. We have seen uh, very corrupt people being celebrated. This is what is happening at this juncture. Zimbabwe is rotting to the core. Who is going to help Zimbabwe realize its fortunes? Who is going to help Zimbabwe realize its capacity and power? So, uh, these are facts facts of things which are happening and we need to always reflect on these things so it's it sad and unfortunate that they've tried to silence victor matimadanda uh, and uh, uh, his postal uh, as an ambassador it was a way to silence him um, as he focuses more on a diplomatic role than on politics in the nation of zimbabwe